patient interview. Pamela Lillian Isley, November 12th, 11.33 a.m. Good morning, Pamela. How are you today? Fine. Today is a special day. What do you mean? This is the anniversary of my new life. When I found my true self. My destiny. Are you referring to the event with Dr. Woodrow? Yes. What else? Of course, at the time, I thought Jason had poisoned me. But in retrospect, he did me a huge favor. And why do you believe what he did has helped you? He showed me the bigger world. A world I should protect. Of course, my first offer was rejected. Offer? You tried to kill everyone in Gotham. Well, sometimes you need to prune back hard in order to make something flourish. Patient interview, Pamela Lillian Isley, November 14th, 10.21 a.m. Hello, Pamela. Today I'd like to go back to something you said in our last conversation. Ask me anything you like. You said your first offer to help Gotham was rejected. How can you possibly believe that? Well, what do you mean? You released thousands of poisonous spores into Gotham, killed hundreds of people. How does that help anybody? I'm not interested in bodies, Doctor. Horrible, fleshy sacks walking around destroying my poor babies with their greed and arrogance. But aren't you one of those fleshy sacks? You're a... were a doctor, too. How can you turn your back on us? Quite easily if it happens. But not you, Stephen. You're different. I feel we have a connection. Really? You do? Of course. Pamela, I got you what you asked for. Do you like it? Oh yes, Stephen, I love it. Such a beautiful flower. Do you mind if I keep it? Oh no, Pamela, I can't leave it. It's against all the rules. I'll just bring it and show it to you when I visit. But it's me, Stephen. I get so lonely on my own. You wouldn't want me to be lonely, would you? No, of course not. Keep it. Just don't let anyone see. Really, no one. You can trust me, Stephen. Thank you. Now give me a kiss. Uh, I can't. People will see you. No one's watching. What's wrong with you? Don't you love me? Call me Ivy. Of course I love you. Should I know, Warden? It does seem careless of you to have lost him. I have no time for your games, Miss Isley. Tell me where you have him. We have security footage of you and him leaving your cell last night. So? Do I need to spell it out? We know you hypnotized him, or, or whatever it is you do. We know he took you somewhere, but conveniently, security cameras across the island were mysteriously covered by leaves and flowers at 3 a.m. Now tell me what it is. I'm not saying a word unless you do exactly what I tell you to do. We found you. No thanks to you. The poor man could have died. So? He has a wife, a child. As do the plants he travels underfoot. The spores he breathes in and destroys have children. Why does he deserve anything more than them? You people ignore what is happening in front of your eyes. I refuse to put the welfare of plants before the welfare of people. And that is why you will lose. There's more happening than you know, Warden. It's all connected.